How is it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me for another beer review. Today I'm going to be looking at a, uh, another beer from one of my favorite breweries out in um, Europe. Uh, today's beer is going to be from uh, De Molen in Bodegraaf in Netherlands. This is, uh, forgive my pronunciation, uh, Moi en Medochenleus. Meaning, uh, I believe, beautiful and ruthless. It's a uh, blend of uh, Imperial Stout and Belgian Quad, aged in bourbon barrels, coming in at 11.2% uh, alcohol by volume, 33 IBUs. Um, one thing about De Molen is some of my favorite uh, uh, artwork, if you want to call it that, just plain black and white labeling, ingredients list here. Um, they're using... Uh, Pills, caramel, chocolate, and roasted malts in this one, as well as Chinook and Saz bittering hops and top fermenting yeast. So, uh, pretty cool. Uh, really love their beer, so excited to get this one crack poured. See how it is. It uh, pours pretty much pitch black. There's a little bit of a red gleam at the bottom of the glass there. A uh, half a finger of a mocha brown kind of head. Um, looks like a uh, nice quad and imperial stout blend. Let's get an aroma off this one. Definitely getting the bourbon right away. Big caramel toffee. A huge nuttiness. This big vanilla and uh, woody kind of aroma. Some dark fruit in the background as well. And a big, big, like, <laughs> sweet chocolatey kind of aroma there. Definitely getting a big grain kind of thing, a big uh, like uh, barley flavor or aroma off this as well. It smells sweet, it smells rich, but really bourbony as well. It smells awesome, so let's give it a try. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> that is a sweet beer. Wow. <laughs> super rich, super decadent. I was expecting the uh, Belgian quad aspect of the beer and the bourbon barrel aging of the beer uh, to thin out the uh, imperial stout a bit, but it is like really rich, lip smacking, just like syrupy sweetness on the front of the tongue, on the lips there. Um, very desserty. You get a huge, just straight up, like, I want to say maple kind of flavor, stuff like that. Um, yeah, like maple syrup, uh, dark chocolate, sweet milk chocolate, a nice, uh, like, uh, a slight coffee kind of thing, but a big like uh, um, dark fruit prune plum kind of thing in the background too. Some like chocolate covered cherries. Um, my parents sometimes buy these uh, chocolate ch covered cherries for like Christmas and stuff. And I always look forward to those and uh, kind of reminds me of that. It's got this really just big, viscous, dark kind of flavors to it. Um, really, really delicious. Excuse me. Yeah, that is sticky. This mouthfeel honestly reminds me of like uh, the brewery's like uh, anniversary ale um, things, you know. It's uh, got a nice booziness to it, um, um, but really just like thick and like sweet and viscous and I just really, really am enjoying it. They are one of my favorite breweries uh, out there. Never mind in uh, Europe, you know, like, they are an awesome brewery. I love their dark beers. And this is one of the better ones I've had. I can only think of, like, uh, two or three of theirs that I would say are better than this. And uh, that's saying a lot. Cause... As a rating on uh, Muy and Medochen Liz, I think I give this one right around a... Uh, I don't know, like a straight up 95. I am really liking that. That is awesome. Uh, a rating from me. Uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think of this beer. Any of uh, 
uh, Demolins, other beers. Like I said, I love their dark beers. Their Hell of their Dominus, Heaven and Hell, other bourbon barrel age variants of everything, you know. Um, yeah, awesome stuff. So let me know what y'all think of this, any of their other beers. And until the next time, cheers, everybody. Excuse me. Cheers.